using a joystick you definitely feel a lot more in control of the aircraft. Battle stations! Battle stations! Man is spotted bearing 335 hot! Hello Commanders and welcome, this is Stumble Gadget, and I'm here with a quick video to show you how to set up a joystick in Carry Command 2. Now of course Carry Command 2 you can play it with a mouse and keyboard and even I as an operator probably use a mouse and keyboard most of the time. But I found that using a joystick for the flying really took this game to a new level for me. Now to use a joystick you will need a hot ass or a hands-on throttle and stick joystick. In this case what we mean is a four axis joystick. Those axes are pitch, roll, yaw and the throttle. Now I couldn't find a hot ass that I like so I made one. I call this the thumble stick and this is what I use to play carrier command. I have a three axis joystick that can do pitch, roll and I can twist it for yaw and I have a throttle lever here. I also have a series of buttons which I have tailored to Carrier Command 2. So how do we set up the joystick? It's not the most intuitive thing so I'll show you how to do it. If you press the escape menu you can go down this list until you see the option here that says gamepad. If you scroll up and down here you'll see that you have the options to set up a gamepad or other controller in our case. First thing I recommend is that you set the throttle mode to absolute. You can have the option to set it to relative, I have no idea what that is supposed to do, but I found it was very difficult to control anything. You want absolute, that means where you put the joystick is where your throttle is, which is what we want. Next as you go down here you'll see a list of various options. So there are axes and there are buttons. Setting up the buttons is relatively intuitive. So for example, fire button, attachment fire. If I click on there, I can then press the button on the joystick that I want to correspond to fire. So I've got my big red fire button. And you see here, button one has been assigned as fire. And all of these you want to map to some button or other. So you have primary and secondary functions on the various weapons. You have toggle control, that's a very important one. I have that mapped to this button here, that's switching between automatic and manual mode. You have next and previous, which allows you to cycle through the various attachments that you have on each vehicle. The map button and of course a very important one I find is the push to talk button which I have on the top of the joystick here I actually have this as two buttons that I can select with this switch and the reason for that is I want to be able to switch between discord push to talk and carry command push to talk the axes are a little bit less intuitive when you want to set them what you have to do is cycle through these until you find the axis that corresponds to what you want. In this case the throttle, so I move the throttle and you see the axis moving. Left to right is greater so more throttle goes to that side but I can also press the invert button if I wanted to reverse the direction that this axis is working. And it takes a bit of trial and error sometimes Likewise here, pitch, I've already set it to the pitch on my joystick, roll, and you can see there, yaw. So that's how to set up a joystick in Carrier Command 2. So here's the important thing to remember if you're flying using a joystick in Carrier Command. You are either in 
mouse and keyboard mode or in joystick mode. You can't be in both at the same time. So here I'm flying this Manta using a mouse and keyboard. And to switch into joystick mode I press a button on the joystick. I'm now in joystick mode. However, if I'm flying and I press a button, say I'm flying around in this turn here and I press V to talk to somebody else, so I press V, all of a sudden my joystick's not doing anything. I'm back in keyboard and mouse mode. To go back into joystick mode, I have to press a joystick button again. And this is why it's important to have a button on the joystick mapped to push to talk, because if you can imagine yourself flying a bombing raid and flying in towards the target and shouting bombs away and you can't pull out of the dive because you're back into keyboard and mouse mode so I hope that's been useful guys if you do use a joystick with carrier command 2 then do leave a comment and say which joystick you're using and how you're getting on with it as I said I had to build myself a joystick before I had one that I was happy using, not least because I am on keyboard and mouse and then joystick, keyboard and mouse and joystick, constantly switching between the two and having anything bigger on the desktop really got in the way. So I built this thing using an Arduino Leonardo, some off-the-shelf parts and it's mostly 3D printed of course. If you're interested I'm going to put a video up on my own YouTube channel about how I built this thing. And if there's enough interest, I might even put the STL files and build plans up online for anybody else who wants to build one. Anyway, I hope that's been useful. This is Thumble Gadget signing off. I couldn't have flown like this using a mouse and keyboard. That pilot's good. Yes, he's good. He's very, very, very good. I've played them before, but nothing like this. All right, so much for the warm-up, gentlemen. You now have air-to-air -air threat in your sector. I am the greatest. I am the greatest.